welcome back guys uh, this is Muni from smarttutorials.net in previous tutorial we seen how to add and remove table rules dynamically using jQuery in this tutorial we gonna add uh, jQuery autocomplete functionality to the multiple fields let's see so oh, I opening uh, the projects they we left now uh, planning to add um, uh, autocomplete event first so in the go to the register events and select so so uh, previously in next uh, in previous tutorial I explained so if we want to attach any events to dynamically adding uh, DOMs so you need to attach event like this so I'm attaching um, events focus event to all the elements that has class of autocomplete text so for example this all four fields have the um, class of autocomplete text so attaching events focus event to all these text fields also dynamically adding uh, input field as well so I'm declaring function I am creating so on focus I, I will call handle autocomplete function in here I am creating uh, three variables type field number current element so type is added for each field I have added the, the data property called data type the country name country number phone code country code something like this so to, I'm to get the type also the field number so I, I given 0 1 2 3 so based on the the data type I'm getting the field number So I am creating one more function. I am passing whatever the type we got from the particular text field. I am getting the uh, field number and keeping it in the field number. Okay. Also, on focus, we will get the this reference and keeping that you know in the current element. The next, uh, next, I am attaching auto complete even to the currently focused elements so I'm um, providing some dummy data to test it is something reload the page yeah it's yes it's working right so I am replacing this dummy data with a Ajax dynamic even dynamic data so for the source I am providing some callback in the callback function I am making Ajax call to the Ajax.php get uh, also I am I am expecting JSON data and passing uh, whatever user type data I am getting in the data um, uh, parameter I am passing that also I am passing the field number so based on the field number we are querying the database and to send the data to the front end finally in the success we will get the data we are uh, forming those data and sending those data to this callback function that callback function will assign uh, finally whatever the data we received from the server to this source if you assign some value then when you uh, automatically source will show the auto completed um, data here okay so now you need to create an uh, you know database 
so I already created uh, auto complete database where the country table is populated with that some uh, some dummy data please download this source code I'll, I provided um, download link in the video description download and create the tables and ta uh, database with the tables and populate the some dummy data in it okay so already created so also go and create um, two page file one is ajax.php and one is config.php in the config.php i'm just uh, making mysql connection so mysql connection in the ajax.php i'm including it so what if you make an ajax call uh, i'm getting two data one is whatever user typed in the text field also i'm getting the field number here uh, I, in the field number i'm getting the whatever you posting or ajax call you know get call uh, so i'm keeping that in the field number also getting the name and uh, saving it the name so by default um uh, so what i'm um, i'm making uh, the name as the in the var field to get the country name so if it is other than zero i'm changing the field name if it is one it is a country number if it is a two it is a country phone code if it is three it is iso code so based on the this field number whatever you supplied uh, in the ajax request i'm making the var condition i'm selecting those data and finally i am i am forming array finally i am encoding it json encoding and send the json string to the front end in the success callback you will receive uh, whatever you sent data from the server here Finally, using jQuery math function, you are um, formatting and send, uh, forming an object and pushing that into this result array. Finally, you are pushing those, well, uh, you know, passing those array to this callback that will, that what will, will be displayed here. Okay, this based on because see from um, back end I am sending uh, zero element as a name country name uh, country number is the second one two three something like that so when user types we will show the so because we know the country field number when you split it we will get an uh, array of strings so if it is zero that is because we are sending in the order so that based on the the field number we will show if it is user types the uh, country number we will show the to the user we will show the country number when you user types a phone code we will show the phone code if it's types of country code that is iso code we will show the country code based on this field number okay that's what we are forming it we are sending it to the callback function finally i am adding few things uh, min length so when you set type some uh, at least one uh, uh, three, uh, one character then only the autocomplete will trigger so i also i am you know attaching select event so when user selects this uh, jquery ui will trigger this select event in the select event you will get uh, you will um, you will you know in the callback function you will receive the event object also what uh, some of the parameters you pass to the callback here so for example i'm uh, creating new variable uh, response array and row number so in uh, on the in the current element um, uh, from the current element we, we can get the row number okay so this ui is an object that has whatever the value currently selected uh, value 
you will you will get in this object so so i am splitting that data into an array that is saved in the rest array so that if so finally we know the row number so we'll concatenate this row number with the strings to assign value to to this particular row of uh, info fields that's it so the zero is country name the one is country number phone code country code something like this that's it so now check reload the page and check yeah yeah it's okay this is how you can achieve uh, multi-field autocomplete please leave uh, the commands so if you have any doubts uh, so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel also press the bell icon to get the updates immediately